morning. 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 <sighs> Oi! You're sitting in my chair. Your chair? Yes, I had me cap on it. We have a saying here, it's bums that keep chairs, not caps. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lady, if ever I heard one. <laughs> Ooh, I see we have a southern gentleman honouring us with his presence. Well, don't you come your airs and graces with me. I know all about you Londoners. My first husband was one of them, until I divorced him. Well, if he was one of them, I'm surprised you married him in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady looks as if she's got a water wings on back to France. <laughs> Dirty old beggar. Hey. I think it's disgusting the way you men come up here from London with only one thought in your minds to prey on the flower of northern women and have a bit on the side. <laughs> or on the sands. <laughs> yeah, yes, well, I must admit the thought did cross my mind as I started off for Blackpool. Don't tell me it's taken you 40 years to get here. You know. You must be the rudest, nastiest person I've ever had the misfortune to encounter. There's only one thing I've got to say to you. And what's that? Would you like to come and have a drink? Well, since you twisted me arm. <laughs> <laughs> it is very naughty of me, you know. I'm practically teetotal. <coughs> Cheers. <laughs> Well, that's the first 14 pints on you. I think it's about my turn now. You're a marvel, that's what you are. Where did you learn to drink like that, then? Well, I'm a very poor swimmer, and I used to play a lot of water polo. <laughs> oh, goodbye. What a magnificent girl that is. A superb specimen. Yes. That's my wife. <laughs> We've been married five and a half months. <laughs> <laughs> I can only say, sir, that you ought to be congratulated. She's quite splendid. Yes, yeah, she's not only beautiful, she's loaded. It's worth half a million. Good Lord. All that money as well, eh? <laughs> That's why I'm killing her. <coughs> I beg your pardon? <coughs> I said that's why I'm killing her. But that's monstrous. What are you doing? Poisoning her or something? Oh, no, no. Nothing as crude as that. A doctor friend of mine told me how to do it. I'm loving her to death. <laughs> morning, noon, and night. I don't give her a minute's peace. <coughs> you cunning swine. <laughs> So, she's only got three weeks to live. <laughs> so, this isn't your first visit to Blackpool, then? Oh, no. We stayed at one of them boarding houses. <laughs> I swore I'd never come back, though. What was that? Well, at the end of the week, when the landlady presented the bill, at the bottom it said, Use of cruet, half a crown. I said, what's this? I said, we never used the cruet. She said, well, it was there if you wanted it. So when it came to settling up, I said, I've knocked 30 bob off for your husband's use of my wife. She said, what are you talking about? He never used your wife? I said, well, she was there if he wanted it. 